one of the things I wanted to do was to take some of the content and put it online for the students to watch and review as much as they needed. The tool that I'm using for doing that is this, um, this tablet PC. So it's actually a regular laptop. Uh, you can unfold it and twist it around and use it like a regular laptop. In this mode, though, I've got it folded down, and this screen is a touch screen, and it comes with an attached pen, which makes, um, makes it easy to mark up text. You can see there's a lot of mathematics on this particular page that would take a long time for a student to copy down if they had to, to write it out longhand during a lecture, and during all that time, they probably wouldn't even be listening to me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to a, a program called Active Presenter. Uh, Active Presenter, the version that I'm using is free, and it's quite capable in that form. Um, it can record um, uh, the whole screen or just parts of the screen. It will record the voice and, and the video at the same time. Um, and it will go on. So unlike some free programs, you can go on as long as you want. And it will convert the results to um, just a standard uh, video format at the end. Um, you can buy more fancy features if you need them. I haven't found a need for anything fancier. You see this green rectangle on the screen. That's what's going to be recorded. And then this bar, this black bar up here, allows me to pause if I need to. Now I'm going to get started, and uh, I'll switch into my, my lecture mode and, and talk about some math for a few minutes. So we write that out. Um, it's the inner product of f with itself. Um, and then this quantity here, including the 1 half, is what we call little f, right? It's a function of all the variables. And then it's a scalar result, so it maps n variables to a single result. So I've saved the lecture. It ran about five minutes, which is a, it's a good length. Some of them go up to more like eight or nine minutes. Um, but generally speaking, it's better to take a big subject and break it into smaller pieces. Okay, after I'm done the lecture, um, I also create a PDF of the, of the result and upload that as well. Students can, can print that out and, and watch it and, and mark it up as they're watching the lecture.